Hey there, Mike Pulaski, quarterbacks coach, EliteAthletesTV.com. Today I'm going to bring a little quarterback training on cover zero defense or blitz coverage. If you're a quarterback or a coach, give me a thumbs up down below. I'd love to hear from you. Give me a comment. Let me know if you want to hear about some other coverages or if there's another part of the game for quarterbacks that you'd love me to make a video about because I'm happy to do it here on Elite Athletes TV. Remember to subscribe to our page. When you subscribe, hit the bell. That way you'll get notified every time we get new content out that you can use as a quarterback to improve your game. With that said, now let's take a look at cover zero and improve our game mentally. Now, cover zero is one that defensive coordinators love to talk about, but oftentimes they get a little scared to call because cover zero on defense is a gambling defense. As a quarterback, when you get it, you know that the throw is going to have to happen quick, but you only have to win in one spot. And if you win that one spot, it can be a home run right away. Why do we call it cover zero? Well, as we talked about before in our other videos, and if you haven't had a chance to go back and take a look at some of our other coverage videos or personnel videos, go back and take a look at those now because it'll help you out uh, understanding the game. But the reason we call it cover zero is because there is nobody deep in the middle of the field. Coverages are often denoted by how many people are deep in a set. Cover zero, just like it sounds, there's nobody back there. So what are you going to get in terms of a set in cover zero? Well, your corner is going to be man on, probably pressed, and definitely inside leverage because he's trying to force the throw to the outside. So that's manned up. Strong safety is going to be manned up over your strong side receiver. This can be a tight end, in this case like we have him. It can be a receiver out here as well. Excuse me, this could be a receiver. So either one of those, strong safety will be manned up over him. We'll leave him with a tight end for now. So he's manned up here. Your free safety who would be in the middle of the field with cover one will come over the top and be manned up to your number two receiver on the weak side and your corner will be inside leverage and manned up to the outside receiver as well. So as you can see here, cover zero, all these guys locked in coverage. One of your linebackers will be manned to the back. If he set strong side, Mike will have him. If he set weak, the bill will probably take him. And so what does this give you? Well, the strength of cover zero is you know you're going to get some pass rush. This is the, the set, the coverage that coaches run when they want to gamble. So you know that you're going to be able to bring Strong side backer, tackle's always coming, nose is always coming, other tackle's always coming, and your will's coming. So there's five guys right there, but you can also bring an extra backer. And so if he's not in man coverage, he can also come as well. It means six men rushing. Up front, you've got one, two, three, four, five guys to block. And this back can help in coverage, slide to take a backer, or if you're going to run a slide protection, he could take outside and you slide this stuff down. But you have six to block six. Remember, the defense only has to win in one place to get to the quarterback. So it's an aggressive pass rush style of defense. Offensively, what are the weaknesses of cover zero? Well, we know they got a heat coming. We know they got a pass rush coming. But everybody in their defensive secondary is locked up man to man, which means if you beat one guy, it can be a home run. Go routes, fade routes, always good against corners locked up in man to man especially if you feel like you have a height or a speed mismatch on the outside, it's a great place to look for the ball. Out routes by your inside receiver where you're running away from somebody. An out route or a crosser where you can get him on your trailing hip, a great place for a quarterback to go with the ball as well. So those are both very good uh, routes versus cover zero. Slant routes, if you come over here, a slant route versus this corner will be great because you'll have some kind of accompanying route inside either a slant to clear that window or you'll have an out to accompany that route and so you'll have windows to throw into here. Slant routes great versus man coverage if your receiver can get off the ball. So think about the routes that beat cover zero. Think about what defenses are trying to do. They're trying to bring pressure. They're trying to harass the quarterback. The quicker you get the ball off, the better off you're going to be versus cover zero. But don't panic. You only have to win in one place. So be under control, understand what the defense is trying to do to you, and the more you understand that as a quarterback, the better you can lead your team, and the better you'll be when they try to bring pressure on defense. Well, you know when they're coming. As a quarterback, you gotta know where to go with the ball. Now that you've seen cover zero and understand blitz coverage a little better, you've got an idea. 
Hit the thumbs up if you liked what I did here today. I want to bring you more videos that help you learn the position. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel. If you subscribe, hit the bell. That way you'll get notified when we bring out new content, stuff that'll help you at the quarterback position. You can always go to our website, EliteAthletesTV.com, where we have programs and drills and instruction all right there on the site, not just for quarterbacks, but you can learn to get faster too from Dan O'Brien, the world's greatest athlete. So remember, quarterback training has to take every form. Today it was mental, cover zero, blitz coverage. We wanna help you get better. I'll see you next time. <laughs>